Hi, my name's Relinda, and today we're going to talk about writing an abstract. An abstract provides an overview of the main points and results in your paper. It's a summary of your findings. The abstract is a single paragraph consisting of about 150 to 250 words. It includes your research focus and your research questions. The next time you're researching in the ERC databases, notice that articles have abstracts that summarize the information in the article so that you don't have to read the whole thing. You'll know quickly if it's something that you can use in your research. There are two main types of abstracts. Uh, the first is the descriptive, and it indicates the type of information found in the research. It doesn't make judgments about it, and it does not provide results or conclusions of the research. Typically, the descriptive abstract includes keywords found in the text, and it may even include the purpose, methods, and scope of the research. Descriptive abstracts are usually very short of about 100 words or less. Most abstracts are informative. Much like the descriptive abstract, they don't evaluate the research. However, it does more than just describing it. The author usually presents and explains the main arguments, important results, and evidence. An informative abstract includes the results and the conclusions of the research and often the author's recommendations. All abstracts include a full citation of the source preceding the abstract. It's common to provide the most important information first. Abstracts use the same language stylistics found in the research, including technical language. Keywords, while not required, are very helpful in identifying the content and the focus of the research. Abstracts are written in clear and concise language. Sometimes the thesis of the research is provided in the first sentence of the abstract. It may also follow the same chronological structure as the research. A well-written abstract lets readers understand the main point of a paper or article quickly so they can decide whether to read the material or not. The abstract should be written in a way that it prepares readers to follow your information and arguments in the research. Just like with any paper, it's a good idea to consider your audience and write concisely. Another helpful tip for pre presenting a good abstract is to keep the information accurate enough that it shows the purpose of your research and summarizes the content. Don't evaluate or add what is already in the research. Make sure the abstract is coherent and legible. Always think clear and concise. It's a good idea to use active voice. As for tenses, stick with the present tense when writing conclusions or results and use the past tense when measuring outcomes. Remember, do not exceed 250 words. The abstract appears on the second page after the title page in APA Style 7th edition. For the title, type the word abstract and center it. Also, make sure that abstract is in boldface font. Double space the text and don't indent at the beginning of your paragraph. The abstract is actually a simple block paragraph. If you decide to use keywords, use the enter button at the end of your paragraph, then indent, just like you're starting a new paragraph, and type the word keywords but italicize it. Once you do that, you can list your keywords. We've discussed how to write a good abstract, so we should also note some of the things that you shouldn't do. Don't refer to other works or the material in the research. Don't add any new information in an abstract and don't define terms. Don't get wordy. Stick to clear and concise and wait until after you complete your paper to write the abstract. We've already talked a bit about formatting, but I'm going to show you an example too. 
sometimes it helps to see a sample of what you're expected to write. So let's look at that. And always remember to follow your instructor's guidelines. While this information follows standard writing rules, your instructor may require something different. Here is the sample I promised. This sample is to show you what the formatting should look like, and it is from the Purdue Online Writing Lab. You can see the title, Abstract, and note that the page number is 2. This abstract includes some keywords at the bottom. You can see how it's indented. There's a link at the bottom of the page, but you can also go to Purdue Online Writing Lab site and search for abstracts. If you have any questions about abstracts, visit the ERC at any campus. There's more information about abstracts in the ERC LibGuide titled APA Style 7th Edition at libguides.cccua.edu.